Welcome back to the Donnaby channel. Thanks for watching. So we're going to do another simple install on my A7 Mustang GT back here. I have this part here. It's a Pioneer brand. It's a new speedometer cable. I purchased this from LMR, of course. And um, it's, all that comes in the box is literally just this. There's no lubricant or anything along those lines. It's just the, just this. Uh, I don't know if mine was supposed to come with lubricant. It might have. I actually do have some lubricant that's actually meant for speedometer cables and other things. So uh, we'll go ahead and lube up this internal cable here. Uh, in just a moment but uh, my speedometer has actually been a little inconsistent lately it's been jumping around when you see your needle do this when you're driving um, that usually means your speedometer cable is going bad and um, just to, you know take care of it here before it actually fails I'm um, going to go ahead and do, and do that right now for you guys. Uh, the install is actually pretty simple, but it is a little involved. You do have to take apart your dash a little bit. You do have to jack the car up to get to the transmission to take the speed sensor out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all those steps here. And um, yeah, so I know this is very simple, very straightforward. I don't have access to a lift for this video, so I'm just going to do this in the garage, which I know a lot of you guys will be in the same shoes as I am. So let's go ahead and get started with this install. We're going to start off uh, with the interior here before we actually jack the car up to unbolt the speed sensor because we do got to take this surround off of our dash in order to access the back of the gauge cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and take just a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two Phillips head screws that go across this ring here, also remove our uh, steering shaft uh, ring here, and then it's like a 7 millimeter on my impact and start removing the screws here and then also right here. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. This plate will just unclip and come right out. All right. Now we have two bolts. All the, the bottom of the steering, or the bottom of this uh, cluster surround, uh, shroud here. Go take those off real quick. They should be the same size. Yep. All right, so now we just got these two screws up here. Got my seven mil on my ratchet. One here and then one right there. Go ahead and take these off real quick. Some one you may have to deal with when you're dealing with old plastic pieces is my screws didn't come all the way out. As you can see, the surround here is loose and ready to come off, but um, I do have a kit, a different assortment of uh, trim screws and stuff like that, so I may actually replace those along with some new J-clips. Mine are old, this thing's seen some better days. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take these switches out here, the um, headlight and fog light switch. We gotta just get a um, screwdriver behind there and clip this forward and unplug them. Same with the hazard switch and the rear defrost over here. So we'll go ahead and get those unclipped real quick and then we'll move the shroud out of the way. As you can see, we got the cluster surround out of the way. I'm just laying off to the side over here and yeah I got a couple screws I need to try and fish out well we'll handle that later so now just got the same size screws along the outside here I'll go ahead and zip those out real quick and uh, we'll get the cluster the rest of the way out um, there's two plugs and then of course your speedometer cable the thing that we're actually after so the uh, once you get this pulled away there's um, the way it's clipped in, you gotta squeeze the connectors inward and then they'll kind of just kind of come free from the back of the cluster so it's actually really simple I'll go ahead and zip these out real quick and uh, we'll pull this cluster back and um, the the toughest part is actually going to be this speedometer cable you got to actually squeeze and kind of push in and then squeeze a little harder and then it releases from the back of the speedometer so I'll go ahead and take care of that real quick
Okay, it's all free and clear now. The gauge cluster can come out freely from the uh, dash here. We just gotta pull up far away now the, where we can take off the, both harnesses that are plugged into the back and also the speedometer cable. Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Here comes free and clear. All right, we'll set this aside here, but yeah, there's the old uh, cable right here. All right, now we gotta fish it through the grommet and uh, we'll go and pop the hood and we'll pull it out from the top side. As to fish this cable out, it's actually got a grommet right against the firewall here. And so we're just gonna kinda uh, take our little flat blade screwdriver Kind of pop that out and then we'll be able to free that from the top and then we can check the car up. So let's go ahead and get that uh, top of the cable out. Interesting here, when I was pulling this grommet through along with the cable from the firewall, the, this piece came off actually of the actual cable itself. Um, as you can see it's kind of like a crimp design just slid right off. So that might have been part of my issue right there, it wasn't seating good. But I'm replacing it anyway, yep. My grommet's still pretty good here, as you can see it's still got the center section, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit. But um, now we gotta actually remove it from the underside of the car. So got one bolt and then of course we got, we got one bolt that's on the inner frame, I believe, to take off and then we got the speed sensor from the transmission. So let's go ahead and jack the car up here and get that stuff out jacked up here and that bolt right there 11 mil that's our speed sensor we'll go ahead and loosen that up and take that part of the cable out and then we only have one more bolt after that to pull the whole assembly out of the car so as you can see here it's just this one 11 millimeter bolt and then this little clip here kind of wedges it against the transmission and then you can see here the assembly came out so now we're gonna go ahead unplug the harness right here and then we'll be able to take the other bolt that's looking against the frame over there and then the whole assembly will come out and right up there right here it's kind of hard to see but uh, here we go it's better right here 10 millimeter bolt. We'll go ahead and put down the ratchet and we'll get that bracket off here. And then we can take the whole assembly out. All right guys, here's the old cable. The old bracket and everything. Yeah. See it turns. It does feel like there's a little bit of a little bit of tension in there. Old cable, it's pretty much junk. And I noticed here when I was kind of feeding this through, it is kind of binding up in here. It's seen better days. This, I believe this is the original one. But uh, trying to kind of go through here. You can find some flat spots. Kind of where it's getting kind of maybe a little too close for comfort on some heat uh, warm parts there, but uh, We'll go ahead and set that one to the side because we don't no longer need it. All right, so as you can see, I got the uh, speed sensor out. And go ahead and get the new cable here. So we're gonna go ahead and prep this new cable here. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this. It's, uh, it's called PTFE lubricant. I looked it up and it said it was uh, good for actually a bunch of different things, uh, including speedometer cables. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out here. Um, it's actually for like slip yokes and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and squirt some of this onto my hand. I'm gonna pull this inner cable out here. I'm just gonna take this cap off. We'll just go ahead and uh, pull that cable out. We'll lubricate it, and we'll put it back in and prep it to go back in the car. Glue in there. So, go ahead and just run it over once again. Messy as possible. <laughs> I 
Don't forget to put your firewall grommet back on before you put the speed sensor back on. But as you can see here, I turn the speedometer gear, turns it very freely. Doesn't seem to be binding up at all, so that lubricant seems to be working. We'll put it to the test and see if it's any good or not. All right, and I got the frame rail bracket back on as well. So now, let's go ahead and snake this back in. We'll go ahead and reattach everything at the bottom. We'll load the car back down, and then we'll jump back into the interior. Guys, it's getting late, but we're still pushing through. I was fighting the grommet on the firewall, putting it back into its spot. It is a tight fit, and not a lot of space to work with. Tore my hands a little bit, but hey, it's part of the game. All right, so we got the new cable in here. See that right there? All right, everything's uh, put through, so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the gauge cluster here, and then we'll go ahead and button everything back up, and should be good to go. All right, cluster's back in. Everything's plugged in. Now I can go ahead and reattach my surround and get it all completely finished up. Heck of a job. For something so simple, it did call, uh, cause quite a headache. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, it was a very simple install, I'll put it that way. The hardest part literally was putting that factory grommet back into the hole. Probably would have been better off just buying a new one because it probably would have been easier to put back in. But beyond that, everything went smoothly, everything unbolted just fine. It's just a little tedious process because you do have to mess with the dash a little bit and you have to crawl into the car. But hopefully this will resolve my jumping speedometer issue. And um, you know, I bought it from LMR, it wasn't that expensive. And in reality, if you're not uh, fighting the grommet, it should only take you probably, I don't know, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half if you're taking your time. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll definitely see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.